up guys i'm currently recording on my phone didn't prep for this day i didn't know i was gonna get it but i'm in the new car just purchased this just purchased it right now oh my god i lost my words can you guys take a guess what car this is you can probably tell by the thumbnail now but this is my first drive and that's the euro right there it's got a sunroof your boy's got a sunroof now I can't record right now driving because yeah i don't have any magnets for the phone i hate this Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm just gonna start it here. We got our Accord Euro back here. Just gonna start working on the car. Just got some servicing to do and I have a new belt, brakes. I went with the DBS Street Series and these pads that were available at JDM Yard. Obviously you got your oil filter, oil's coming soon, brake stuff. Two reasons why I'm doing this. One, the Accord needs some serious servicing. Two, Yes, I am letting go of the Accord because we have something else and I will show you guys later in this video. So right now I got the car all jacked up, ready to go because I'm about to install these brakes. I just need to pump it out and change the two front brakes. And then I have Will who is coming over right now to fit this belt for me. I'm not going to film a whole time lapse. I'll get back to you when I'm done with this. Best one is on, pads are in, and the rotors are in. I wish this was for me, but this is for the new owner who's gonna buy this car. New pads, new rotors, the hubs have been anti-seized, re-lubed these as well. I'm using this lube from Bendix, it's pretty good stuff. Now, we just gotta wind up the piston, and this is the new tool I bought. I bought this tool because I was just getting sick of getting stuck on pushing the pistons back with useless, useless brake tools in the past. So, got myself a set and I should be done in a sec. Basically, this will cover this piston and I'm basically pushing it that way to make this flat, if you guys didn't know. Oh yeah, worked like a charm. Now the piston's flat just like that. I'm ready to put it on here. That was literally just two minute job. Oh, I had my battles in the past, but this tool, worth it all right so next day i literally just worked on the car and finished up pretty late but we got it done we got the new belt on i didn't film but will came over sorry if i sound different because it's really windy today so i got the mic up the new belt is on it's very very tight it's good before i chuck it away i didn't show you guys what my belt looked like and yeah it was on its last legs it's splitting and obviously yeah it's just ripping man it had its days but this is how bad i just want to show you guys how bad it was like all right that's that and we also changed two front rotors and pads and last night i decided to start on the oil service i'm just waiting for ivan to get oil from the shop and when i said i finished a bit late last night i literally just left everything here i didn't even pack up so that's today's problem while away for the oil i won't pack yet i just want to show you guys the new car let's go so this is gonna be the new daily slash drift car and yeah i've always wanted one for a long time i found one it's not the cleanest but she will do before i do pause this video comment down below and guess all right you ready here she is guys this is the new drift slash daily car now this is the combo Got the IS200 and I got the chaser. The 200 is very, very low. It's on K-Sport coilovers. I don't know if it's got aftermarket arms because uh, the camber is pretty crazy. That's more than minus two for me. And yeah, it's sacked, guys. It's really low. I gotta raise this up today if I can, just so I can take it to the shop, to Payton, to fix the bushing issue. So this is the engine bay. The only thing done to it was this manifold. The brand is uh, Turbo Tech. 
Yeah. And honestly, it sounds a bit racer, man. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Yo! The boy's got the oil. Thank you. How are you? Tired. <laughs> right, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna put this inside the driveway. The Euro is all done. Everything's sweet. Brakes are in. New belt. It's such a good daily, but I gotta move on. That's what I mean about the steering wheel. The Allen key is loose. Might have to tighten that up as temporary fix. Yeah, she starts well. All right, this is the part I'm worried about. Don't know how close I am to scraping there. Ooh, this car seems to be a lot smaller. She's in, boys. <laughs> yeah, she's in. Freaking low, man. Hell yeah. That was easier than the chaser. I got it in straight away. I'm gonna concentrate on the two fronts, raise it up because it's just dirt low guys. Right, we're on a flatter surface right now, so the UC is pretty much tuck fitment. It's nice, I love it, but man, when you turn, you can really, really hear the rubber hitting the metal. The rears are okay for now. It's not too tragic. It's just the front, look at it. It's freaking cambered out. Stance nation. This car has grown so much to me, man. The looks, oh, it's like a mini chaser for me. Literally. Finally got an IS200. Ivan's working on his car at the moment. We're putting on, man. Lights. Ivan's doing a LED upgrade. He's gonna look super bright. He put reverse lights on, number plates now, and interior and headlights. Do you guys notice anything different about Ivan? What's that on your arm, bro? It's a piece of art. <laughs> If I went to Thailand and just got this whole sleeve done, you're a badass, bro. Got this done recently. We sprayed it gold. It used to be blue, if you guys remember. What do you guys think? Suits his nail plates. All right, got the Lexus. You know what? Let's give this car a nickname because let's say I'm going to call this car 200 because it's an IS 200, okay? So I got the 200 up on the jacks. If you're wondering how I'm doing this, Without stands, well, I got no option but to have my second trolley jack there and the main one on the tow. And that's how I'm going to not die doing this job. It's been a while since I've adjusted collivers because I've been having a luxury with airbags. It's been a while. I got my BC C-spanners and these are K-Sport collivers apparently. And that's true. Oh, bit webby here. Oh yeah, it works. Okay, yeah, okay. Sweet, our C-spanners works. Chisel with the, nah, nah, we're good with the C-spanners today, bro. Don't need no chisel. All right, I'm gonna just start on this and um, put WD-40. Man, I don't miss adjusting colivers. was not too hard. Both the fronts are now raised up about almost more than one centimeter higher. Made a lot of difference, not tucking too much. I didn't go too dramatically high because I'm trying to avoid to adjust the rears for now. But looks more dailyable. Gonna take it out the street, see how it looks. Before I go, this is not it. I don't know why Unless it got loose over time, but that's not cool to me. So I'm going to try to tighten this up. Whoa, it's really loose. What the hell? I'm going to seek out for a new steering wheel, but this is pretty solid now. A lot better than before. Just going to do a little bit of interior stuff real quick. So this key, I usually have a lanyard, but I think I'm going to go with something different. I'm going to go with jet tag. And I got here, Venki spec, because this car Honestly, it's like a Benki spec car to me. It's necessary to put this on and Rex designed clutch kick Benki spec. This is probably the perfect one for this car because literally it's a drift daily and I'm going to be clutch kicking here and there. And the next thing is gear knob. I feel like I used to like long gear knobs, but I don't know. It just feels weird for this one. He's put bride covers on which i don't mind i actually like it so 
this has to go I'm going to try fill it with a shorter gear knob oh shit it, it's not really weighted it was just very light so this was in the chaser before I'm gonna put this vertex hey, yo. gear knob on I don't know about you but that looks so much better oh honestly it actually feels better too bruh that looks so much better I don't know what do you guys think and steering wheel if you guys got any suggestions what I should change this to I've heard a few things about NRG that are negative like it might snap off or whatever but comment down below what you think I should do um this already has a boss some boss kit on it this interior is filthy as f it was running around without any floor mats so that's what you get dirty dirty carpet and the seats are kind of dirty too yeah there's actually a lot to do in this car um i think i'm just going to end up cleaning up the interior but for now gear knob was super important and yeah steering wheel is might be the next thing after i fix everything mechanically fitment is perfect right now i didn't want the front to be too high so it would look weird for the rears but it's actually not bad hi right, guys that's it for today's video i'm so pumped about this little project i have it's a lot to fix a lot to do i actually can't believe i own one now comment down below what you think of the car um did i make another financial mistake i think i did but hopefully it'll be worth it in the long run and bring you guys along to this journey of mine with cars all right I'll see you guys next time peace